Hey YouTube, Triforce Atsuki Master 2000 here. So today is the day that the Nintendo Switch online service has been finally active. It is finally here, and one of the most one of the most features that I've been hyped up for for the online service is the free NES games that you actually get. So right here is the Nintendo Entertainment System online app where you can play the NES games. And in order to play these games, you must have the Nintendo Switch online service. If you don't have that, you can't play these games. But recently I tried the seven day free trial for the Nintendo Switch online service. I will eventually get the full service, uh, probably say next week. Uh, I'm going to get the 12 month deal, which is $20, which is not bad. Uh, I really like that Nintendo really charges uh, their online service cheap. I believe a month is... I think like $3.99, which is like uh, $4. I think the I think the other one's like a six-month deal or a five-month deal. I can't remember. It's like $7.99, which is $8. The 12-month deal, which is like a year, you get that for $20, which is not that bad. At least Nintendo charges their online service really cheap other than, you know, Sony and Microsoft as their online service. I think they... I don't know how much Microsoft charges because I don't, I don't own an Xbox. I know that with PlayStation, you have to pay like $60 if you want to get a, a 12 month deal. But since I don't game on PlayStation anymore, I really don't, uh, I really don't, uh, know how much they have fully charged for their other plans. But, uh, I, I know that because, um, I, I do own a PS4, but I don't really game on my PS4 anymore. But, uh, I do know that, uh, that if you want a 12 month deal, I think you have to pay like $60. But with this, no. If you want a 12-month deal, you could actually just pay $20. I think it's a really good deal. Um, I know that a lot of people were upset with the online service, of course, when it got announced. Um, personally, for me, I'm not really upset about it. But there are, yeah, but there are some minor things that I, I did have problems with. Uh, most importantly, like the cloud save data. I've been a little upset about that. But uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Um, I... Uh, I have also, I mean, yeah, I, I understand that people are kind of upset about the uh, Nintendo Switch online app. It's understandable because, I mean, Nintendo hasn't really fully used it. They've only used it for one game, and that game is Splatoon 2, so no idea why they haven't fully used the capabilities of that app, but we'll see what they'll do uh, with that app as well. But here is uh, here's the selection of games that we got here from the NES lineup. So we got Balloon Fight, Baseball... Donkey Kong, Double Dragon, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, Ghosts and Goblins. And here we have Gradius, Ice Climber, Ice Hockey, Mario Brothers, Pro Wrestling, River City Ransom, Soccer. And we got Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, Tecmo Bowl, Tennis, Zelda, and Yoshi. And obviously, uh, you can play these games. Single player, two players. You could also play online, but I assume you need to play with your friends online. Uh, I hardly play with people online. I mean, I do play online, but I don't play with uh, with other players. I just play online normally. But uh, yeah, you can do that. Uh, the settings for the menu is just basically what you expect. So if you own an NES or SNES Classic, you know that the settings for the system are to change the resolution of the games. For example, this is a 4x3 scale. This is pixel perfect, which I actually enjoyed on the NES Mini because that actually makes the game like look really better. And the CRT filter. Uh, I don't really use the CRT filter, but it's actually not that bad. Uh, I think the CRT filter is really good. I thought it was going to be horrible at first because I would assume with the CRT filter it would have made the games look a little bit weird, especially in HD, but no, the CRT on the NES Classic and it's Super NES Classic Edition, they actually uh, they actually don't look that bad. So of course, uh, I'm gonna play all the games here. So let's try out uh, Balloon Fight. Balloon Fight's a classic. I'm a huge fan of Balloon Fight. Uh, I don't know why I really liked this game back in the day. I mean, probably to me as a kid, you know, cause I remember when I first played this, one of the reasons I liked this game was the characters. The characters were one of the reasons why I liked this game. But this has been a, one of my favorite NES games of all time. Um, this is one of my favorite black box games. I remember playing this as a kid. I used to, you know, really get addicted to playing this a lot. And whenever I go back to the game, because, uh, I mean, I do own the game. 
I own, I own so many variations of the game. I own the game on my 3DS. I have them both on the Famicom and NES Classics. So, yeah, I, I own the game in three ways. <laughs> but anyway, um, but yeah, Balloon Fight's one of my favorite NES games of all time. It was sort of Nintendo's ripoff to Joust. I've never been that big of a fan of Joust, but I, I did enjoy Balloon Fight back in the day, and uh, I'm happy that it's there. I mean, it's a classic, and I mean, if there's an, if, if there are NES games that I would like to see on the Switch, of course, I stated one of the first games that come to my mind. Well, I mean, it's Super Mario Brothers and Zelda, but also uh, games I would have liked to see were games like Balloon Fight, which is there. I would have liked to see Castlevania, Punch-Out!, um, and I would have liked to see a couple of the Dragon Warrior games, which is a uh, Dragon Quest. Would have liked to see those games, but maybe we'll get them uh, later on. But uh, who knows what games we'll get next? But uh, the game selection is not that bad. It's far from perfect, but it's really good. So let's course try a balloon fight. Of course, got the balloon poppers here. Okay, we got that here. So as I stated, Balloon Fight uh, is one of my favorite NES games of all time. I never know, I never understood why it was one of my favorite games to play. But as I've stated, I just got to like the characters back then, and you know, to me, Balloon Fight's one of those games that I just enjoy playing to death on the NES. It's just a game that I can just pick up and just play and chill. Alright, got both of them. There you go. It took long to hit him. All right, now I'm gonna try to get all the, all the balloons here. All right, gonna go here. So I gotta say, playing. Playing these games on the Switch doesn't really feel that bad. I'm using the Pro Controller right now since that's how, since I have the Switch docked with me, that's how I play. Uh, that's how I play these games. Of course, I play them with the uh, the Pro Controller, right here. Of course, I use the Pro Controller when I have my Switch dock. Uh, usually, I don't use other other controller variants when it comes to playing the Switch on handheld. I just play the Switch when I when I play my Switch on handheld. I just play it on handheld. I really don't play it. I really don't. Played with just taking out the Joy Cons and just using the Joy Cons separately. I've never been a big fan of that, to be honest. I mean, the only game that I've only used the Joy Cons separately was Arms and Super Mario Odyssey. Well, with Super Mario Odyssey, I mean, I could tell like, it's it, I could tell that that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. And I have I did use the Joy Cons separately on Mario Odyssey, which is not that bad. But playing the playing the Joy Cons separately just feels weird, especially if you're gonna play games like Zelda. Uh, or Mario Kart, I just say that it's just weird. And I can't see anybody using the Joy-Con separately playing, uh, especially playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate when it comes out, so it's, it's gonna be weird. Uh, I am gonna probably use the Joy-Con separately on Pokemon Let's Go, because I know that that's gonna be a game that's gonna focus heavily on using the Joy-Con separately. And I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind using the Joy-Con separately for that game. Oh man! <laughs> All right. Well, got got my last life. All right. <laughs> well, let's check out. Well, okay, okay. Let's do this mini game and then check out uh, the next game. Do, 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 do. All right, got all the balloons, 20 balloons. Now let's check the other game. Now, of course, another thing to also uh, notify here is that this this app also has save points. So, if, like I state, so as I stated, uh, this has features that the NES and SNES Classic have, and one of the features that it also has are save states. 
So of course, the NES Classic and SNES Classic have four safe states. And this also has four safe, uh, safe states as well. And you could also create one. I'm not going to do that because I really don't really care about creating a safe state for a balloon fight. Then again, I mean, I don't have, you know, I mean, there's no point in making a safe state for a balloon fight. But yeah, could you could also reset the game, of course. It just resets the game automatically. And let's go back to the game selection and let's play baseball. All right, so here's baseball. All right, probably I'm going to suck here because I'm not really that big of a sports I mean, I'm not even a sports guy. What the hell am I even saying? I'm not even a sports guy to begin with. But I I mean, as a kid, I enjoyed the black box sports games uh, because even though I'm not a fan of sports, I actually enjoyed these black box sports games for, uh, you know, for for a long time. I mean, and there have been a big and there have been a, I'm, I'm not even a sports guy to begin with. But um, I did like playing the black box sports games like baseball, soccer, tennis, pro wrestling. Um, even if I never was a fan of sports, I kind of liked playing these games back then. Um, but I never was good at them because I don't play sports games to begin with. But the only sports games that I just well, I would just only play even to this day are the Mario themed sports games. Or I mean, I haven't played this. I haven't played that game in years, but I. I, I, I actually enjoy playing Wii Sports. <laughs> yes, I enjoy Wii Sports. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody has enjoyed Wii Sports back then. But uh, yeah, if it's Wii Sports or the Mario Sports games, then I'll just play those. Okay, so you press A. Like I said, like I've stated, I'm, I'm probably going to suck at this game because I have I am not a good sports guy. Okay, got strike. Uh... Just throw the damn ball. Okay. I, I hit that. Foul ball. Foul ball. Uh. Oh. Wait, did I hit it? Yeah, I did. I did. And I'm out. I think so. Out. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, was that? No. A foul ball. Foul ball. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's good. I think I'm gonna. I don't know. I think it's a single or a double. What? What? What, what do you get? Okay. So one. Safe. Okay. Uh. Well, that was good. At least I. I did get a hit. I mean. That's strike. That's strike. I know that. Uh. Okay, <laughs> well, is that a is that a strike? I I don't know what am I doing. Safe. Okay. Strike. Yeah. It was oh, uh, three strikes. Well, as I mentioned, guys, I'm not really good at this game. Um, I mean, as I, you know, I did enjoy playing the, the black box sports games, but it, like I stated, I'm, I'm not good at sports games because I suck at them and I'm not, a, I'm not a sports fan. So you don't, I mean, I mean, personally, you wouldn't see sports games on my channel because I don't, I don't play sports games or I don't talk about sports because that's not my thing, but, um, But as I've stated, um, these games, I guess, they're not really that bad, but I'm not good at them. <laughs> uh, uh, whatever. Hell, go to game selection because I'm not, not too into that game. But yeah, that's baseball, of course. But I am playing all the games because I do want to showcase to everybody all these games. Next game is Donkey Kong. One of my favorite Nintendo arcade games of all time, of course. And I do have the arcade version of the game on the Nintendo Switch, but this is the NES version, of course. So I'm up here. Gotta be careful with the barrels. Okay, I only got down. Oh, shoot. Okay, saved myself there. Okay. 
So of course, you just have Donkey Kong here. Of course, Donkey Kong Jr. and Donkey Kong 3 are not there, but I assume we're gonna get them later, of course. Um, I do want to play Donkey Kong 3 on here, actually. I'm actually a, I'm actually a huge fan of Donkey Kong 3. It's kind of an underappreciated Donkey Kong game, but I really think it was a really fun game. I don't think it's, it's the best Donkey Kong game, but I really enjoyed it. And I think it's a really good game, in my opinion. I don't consider it to be the best Donkey Kong game, but I enjoyed Donkey Kong 3, though. It's, it's a really... Well, it is really challenging. Uh, would I say it's challenging than Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr.? Well, I mean... The NES version, I'd say like the NES versions of Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. aren't really that challenging. Uh, it depends how far you get to the to the game, of course. Let's say if you're in level 3 or level 4, that's when both games uh, start to get challenging on the, on the NES versions. The arcade versions are the real deal, obviously, since those versions are the actual versions that are super challenging. Uh, I have never played Donkey Kong 3 on, on the arcades. I've only played Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr., um, of course, I'm not the best player of Donkey Kong in the arcades, but it is personally my favorite retro arcade game of all time, and personally my favorite Nintendo arcade game. Personally, like, the only Nintendo arcade games that I've only played uh, are Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., and I recently played Punch-Out!, uh, the original Punch-Out! on on arcades. Um, there was a convention that I went to uh, in Palm Springs and they had a room where you can play arcade games and two arcade games that they had, um, they had two Nintendo arcade games. They had Donkey Kong and they had Punch-Out. Now I was already familiar with Donkey Kong because I, had, I already played the arcade version of the game uh, many years ago, but I have never played Punch-Out. And I actually enjoyed the arcade version of Punch-Out. It's, it's really good, and I actually was able to get the uh, digital version of the game on the Nintendo Switch. Another umbrella here. With the arcade port of Donkey Kong, I mean, there's three items that you would have to collect for. Um, you would obviously go for the purse, the hat, and, of course, the umbrella. Uh, the umbrella. <laughs> oh, man, I'm losing time here. Okay. Oh man, I gotta hurry. Come on! God damn it! I'm losing time! No! Yep, I'm dead. I wasted so much time. Like I'm like I can't focus enough like when I'm when I'm talking and playing. It's it's just not my thing, of course. But because I'm doing a video, I just decided, okay, I have to do both. I have to talk and play. The umbrella, the parasol, purse. As I mentioned in the arcade version of Donkey Kong, there are three items. The parasol, which is the umbrella, the purse, and of course, the hat. And the hat is basically missing in this game. And another level that's also missing on the NES version is the conveyor belt level, which is actually my favorite level on the Donkey Kong arcade game, which is one of the only levels that's missing uh, in this version of the game. I think the only... If I... If I recall, I think Nintendo made a version of Donkey Kong. It's the NES version, but it included the conveyor belt level. I believe it was included for a European Super Mario Brothers Wii uh, edition. Uh, like, I think it was like, it was a version, it was a bundle of the Wii. It was a Super Mario Brothers bundle, and I think it had a pre-installed copy of Donkey Kong, which had all of the arcade animations and all the levels, including the conveyor belt one. And I think later on, Nintendo made like a Club Nintendo version of that version of Donkey Kong for the 3DS. But that was Donkey Kong, and here is Double Dragon. Check out Double Dragon. Now, I was never really that big of a fan of Double Dragon. I'm, I don't really consider myself a Double Dragon player because I, you know, I'm not really into Double Dragon, but happy to see that's there. Let's see. Okay, so you go select. A. All right, so we'll do a little bit of gameplay of Double Dragon. Probably gonna suck at this game because I'm not really into Double Dragon. I was never really that into it as a kid and I never consider myself a Double Dragon fan. Mission one. Okay. Okay, 
I got got knocked out there. You can still fight them here, huh? Yeah, you can. There you go. You get down there. Shit. Alright. Got that one down. Oh no, wait. he's still back up. Whereas you can use items in this game, I, I know that. Oh shit, my bad. I pressed the ZL and ZR button. <laughs> okay. That plays really well right here on the Switch. Like I stated, I'm not really that big into Double Dragon, but it does play well here. I'm getting my ass kicked. I think this is like a boss or something. I have no idea. Like I say to guys, I'm not really that big into Double Dragon, so I really don't know. <laughs> okay, I got killed. Well, that was a little bit of Double Dragon, so I'll return here. And here is Dr. Mario, which is actually one of my favorite puzzle games on the NES. Uh, one of my favorite puzzle games on the NES... My favorite puzzle games on the NES were Dr. Mario and Tetris. Uh, I was more into Dr. Mario uh, than Tetris, but I but growing up when it came to puzzle games on the NES, um, I never played much puzzle games. Like the only puzzle game that I, that I played the most was Dr. Mario. But of course, as I mentioned, uh, I did play Tetris and I and I basically enjoyed Tetris on the NES, but I enjoyed the Game Boy version more because that was a version of the of Tetris where you could take on the go. And the Game Boy version of Tetris to me is the, the more superior version of Tetris. But I think the NES version is still really good, and I would like to see it on the uh, Switch online service. But Dr. Mario is definitely a puzzle game that I that I adored so much back in the day, and I'm um, happy to see that it's there. Let's check it out. We're going to do a one-player game. I always put the music type on chill because I kind of like the chill theme better. The chill theme was always like the, the best theme that the game had. I've always been a fan of the chill theme. That's the one that I always enjoyed having the most. All right. Oh shoot, <laughs> I messed up. I messed up already. Oh wait, I still have a chance here. Oh wait, ah. Oh wow. <laughs> I just messed up on my first try. Ah, uh, screw it, I'll reset it. <laughs> I messed up on my first try. <laughs> oh wow. It's so hard to focus when you're holding the camera and then playing. Oh well. Okay, I got that. There you go. Alright. So I'll do three levels of Dr. Mario. Do three levels. Do this one. And... Okay, there you go. I think... Okay, yeah. Definitely. Uh, I... Yep, there you go. Oh, man, I missed! Okay, there you go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, it definitely fits. Doo, 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 doo. Yep. There you go. Boom. And we got, okay, we got two yellow viruses. And we got a red virus left, so. I need, red, okay, red and blue pill, then what? That will do. But I, okay. Yep. Nice. Just got the yellow virus. Nice. Nice. Okay. So we'll do this stage as well. Okay, we got that. And we got that. Switch it up. There you go. Uh, let's see. Can it still fit? Yes, it can. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't... Oh man, no! Oh, I freaking messed up, man. What the, f what the fuck? All right, well, whatever. All right. Well, that still didn't help, but oh well. Yep, there you go. That helped. Cool, cool, cool. Well, the, the red virus, yeah, because there's like a red virus next to the blue one, so I can be able to hit it. And I'm getting red pills. <laughs> okay, I got a red and yellow pill. Uh, yeah, I need a blue, there you go. Now I need a red pill. All right. Okay, we got a yellow one. Uh, I think I could, yes, I think I can. I need to turn, no! God damn it, I messed up. <sighs> okay, well, screw it all. I just need, I need a blue pill. I need, yeah, I need another, need another one. Screw, yeah, because I need, I need to block that red pill out of the way. Because there's two more viruses left. Uh, the yellow, yellow will do fine. Okay. Uh, oh well, I might as well already failed. Let's go to the next game. But that's Dr. Mario, and here is Excite Bike. Of course, Excite Bike is one of the programmable series NES games. Of course, there were only three programmable series games, which was Excite Bike, Mock Rider, and Wrecking Crew. I was actually a big fan of Wrecking Crew. A lot of people may ask me why. I mean, if I mean, yes, Wrecking Crew is not the best game, but I enjoyed Wrecking Crew back then. I thought to like I, I thought like back in the day, like Wrecking Crew was so fun to enjoy. It. I was actually a huge fan of Mock Rider as well. I thought Mock Rider was an awesome game, but uh, I was more of a fan of Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew was my favorite programmable series NES game, but I actually enjoyed Excite Bike as well. I mean, Excite Bike's, you know, Excite Bike's, it's a. <laughs> Excite Bike is a classic, so I mean, there's no denying that this does deserve to be there. I mean, it's a classic, and that's one of the games that I would say, yeah, it, it needs to be on the NES online service. All right. All right, we'll probably do like two, I think two or three tracks. And just do turbo. Gotta slow down because, yeah, 
your bike overheats if you go if you use all your turbo. Finish line is right. Yep, right here. Here is the finish line. And of course, first place. I own two versions of, of Excite Bike, so I do own the Japanese version and the North American version, thanks to, of course, the Famicom and NES Classics. <laughs> so I have two versions of Excite Bike. Well, I, I would say I now have three versions because I do have the game on the Switch, and I do have them on the NES and Famicom Classics. So I do hope that we get all the uh, all the other two programmable series games, uh, Mock Rider and Excite Bike. I, I want to play Mock Rider again. I haven't played Mock Rider in years, and uh, I would love to play that game again. Um, I do have Wrecking Crew on my 3DS. Uh, I got Wrecking Crew. I actually got it free because uh, I own the original 3DS model, and I still own that uh, variant of the 3DS. And if you remember when the 3DS was priced ridiculously super high. Um, I, uh, when Nintendo cut the price down for the 3DS, they offered those who got the 3DS at launch, uh, they offered 10 free NES and 10 free Game Boy Advance games. And I own those 10 free NES and 10 free Game Boy Advance games. So uh, I do have Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew is a part of that list, of course. It's really hard to focus like playing and then like using the using the camera at the same time, but that's that's the only way. Alright, so that was Excite Bike.